Well done, Losk Lil. Well done, Losk Lil. Nobody expected them to win the league and they went and won the league, bro. You have to respect it still. Um, shout out Raphael Gussain of his, his idea to do this player ratings, yeah. Um, they won League One, yeah. I, I just cannot believe it, bro. Um, owner status, enjoying life at the club. He's definitely enjoying life at the club right now, bro. Nickname, Les Dogways. You can obviously tell by the pronunciation that that is not my language, bro. But um, we, we move on. Underdogs, bro. You get me? Underdogs, bro. Anyway, um, they used to be in the Euro Cup, but obviously that was... Um, who won that? V Villarreal? Oh, yeah, they did. All right, history. Um, when was the last time they actually won the league before? That was in, what, 2010? 2010-11, bro. So it's been more than a decade really so um yeah it was it was due coming still and, and they actually done it so we're gonna get into the to the players that they've got let's see what they've got all right we're going from orestis carnesis bruv all the way to burak yilmaz so yeah let's see what these men are saying all right first we've got man like orestis carnesis bruv i remember this guy from watford um how long was he at watford a season um yeah i don't really know too much about this guy all i know is that he's Bang average, bruv. And as you can see, just look at the stats in it. Like, man's got what 50 reflexes, 12 agility, 41 and ones. That's that's an okay goalkeeping pivot. It's just okay. Mentally, bunch of 12s in there, bruv. Um, in terms of jumping, it's decent. Error reach is very under average. He's a sweeper keeper. He's backup, bruv. Probably second or third choice. And yeah, that's literally where it is. And he's 35 as well. So there's no real longevity with this guy. Man will probably end up releasing him or selling him or something because he's just, you know, back up. But yeah, um, that's honest. This carny. All right, next we've got um someone that's 10 years younger than the backup, which is um, Mike Magnan. He's 25. Um, 13 agility, but 16 re reflexes and 14 one on one. So it's a better one. It's better. And, um, Mentally, he's actually good as well. Like he's got a bunch of 14s this time. Um, he's strong as well. So rushing out, he'll genuinely barge his way through and catch the ball and shit. Um, yeah, jump and reach 14. Air reach is still not as great as 13, but that's fine. Um, good command of area. He's just a well, a better goalkeeper, more well-rounded. Um, he's the first choice, bruv. Man won the league, bruv. Um, I don't know how good he was this season, but um, I heard a lot of good things. So, um, yeah, man, man I'll just take their word for what I was told in it. But, yeah, that's man like Mike Magnan. All right, next we've got man like Jose Fonte, um, first outfield player. What is in his control is under control, bruv. Um, literally, man can't control his pace. He's 36, but... What you can control, for example, the tackling, the the passing, like man, man's got that under control. Still, can't lie, bruv. Um, things that you're given naturally are like mentals in it. They'll they'll come regardless in it. That's with hard work and consistency. Then you'll get the mentals, bruv. Man's got that in it. So he's he's a very good like man. Man called him like the daddy of Portugal last time, and he's definitely the daddy of um, Los Khalil, bruv. Like, man's personality is leader in it. So, man, man's always just like, man, man's leading, simple as. So, yeah, man, like Jose Fonte, you already know, innit? Like, he's a very good defender still. Just beware, sometimes he can get skinned, but it's not in his control, so you can't really blame the man, bruv. Yeah, man, like Jose Fonte. All right, next we've got Thiago Giallo. Um, no nonsense centre back. Okay, twelve tackling, ten technical and vision, ten passing. Definitely a no nonsense. Um, he is twenty. Um, good pace, no agility. Mean that he's gonna get fucked, bruv. But that's only sad to say. When it comes to a recovery thing, he'll definitely duck man down. The only problem with that is that he'll get a last ditch tackle, but more time he's not really gonna get the ball with twelve tackling, bruv. Like that's not really confirmed, is it? Good positioning, but overall. He's he's quite I can't lie, he's not that great right now, I'll be real in it. Like maybe it's cause he's only twenty in his time, but he's looking hella raw. That's the word. He's looking raw. Man's composure is eight and shit. True say you don't need that shit, but he does need to improve his tackling. That's the main thing, innit? Man like um Tiago Jello. Man's tackling definitely needs to improve still. Alright, next we've got my like Sven Botman. I remember him getting linked to Liverpool and shit. And I remember why they why I could understand why they wanted him in it because man's a decent ball playing defender. Um his position he's he, it's cause he's young in it, like he's young as well. So he's good for his age, yeah. Um he's kind of reminded me a bit of like Jose Fonte, innit? Like he looks like he's gonna be that kind of player still, because he's not that fast. 
But um, for for an actual defender, like man's got good things. Like man's got very good tackling. He's got a good pivot. He's good in the air. He's strong. His composure is not that bad. He's only twenty, so I can definitely allow some things in it. So yeah, and he's very determined, which is always a good thing to see. Um, just be aware in terms of pace. Man can definitely get skinned, bruv. But um, it's not in his control really. In it, man, six foot four. Um, he didn't ask to be that tall in it. Like man can't really move right now. Maybe in the few actually now nah, he's never gonna be able to move, bro. He's six foot four, like um man's man's pace is gone still. But but regardless, he's still a good defender though. Brilliant potential as well as well. Don't forget that man man's got um good potential as well, man. That's Van Botman. All right, next you've got Jeremy Pied, bruv. Right back or right wing back. 13 pace, 13 agility and 13 accelerations, good movement. Um he is 31, 13 dribbling. Um, 14 technique 13 vision and 13 passing is a good pivot 11 tackling bruv so defensively is not the one he's going to get fucked defensively going forward he's decent though meaning that on a little complete wing back thing is probably what it will have to be literally complete wing back because I don't want to see this guy defending I don't want to see no one on one defending with that are you mad man's 31 gonna get skinned bruv I don't want to see that loud that man that man, man's gonna get absolutely fucked bruv so man will prevent that from happening by putting him on complete wing back limiting the chances he's get he, he would have on like one on one defending it because he'll be more in the opposition half than his own. That's what I'd rather do. Man, I'll make him a false winger in it. 13 dribbling and 14 crossing is not bad going forward. And man will leave it at that still. Man, like um, Jeremy Pied, yeah. Man, man will definitely get fucked defensively. So um, make him make him attack, please. Thank you. All right, next you've got Ray Nildo, bruv. What the fuck, bruv? Like, man, just saw Ronaldo the other day. Then you show me fucking the fucking. What the, the the little version of Ronaldo, bruv? Is that what this is? Cause what the fuck is this, bruv? Like man's got what? What? No, 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 no. Is this really? Nah, I can't lie. Um, he might be doing his thing in real life, but according to the game, they're saying that he is whack, bruv. Man's twenty six, yeah. Like what, bruv? How are you twenty six and your first touch is tw okay? You know, you know, you know, you know. I'm looking at like eleven, 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 eleven. Um, 12 technique, 12 vision, 12 passing. He's meant to be a winger. He's got good pace in a straight line. And that's all he can really offer you is pace and dribbling, really. What's his decisions? Nine, you're a big man. And you've got nine decisions. Lie, bruv. I can't lie. Um, For me, can't lie. He's, he's not levels. I'll be honest in it. Like, man's, man's not levels. I'll definitely sell this guy. The fact that he's valued at a mil, if you can get that for him, take it and run. Say. All right, next you've got my like Doma George Bradich or Bradarich, Bradarich, yeah, Bradarich, cool. Um, he's twenty as well, wing back attack, bruv. Thirteen technique, ten vision, and fourteen passing is a good pivot for left back. Um, fourteen pace, fourteen agility, and thirteen elevation is very good movement as well. Um, okay, fourteen dribbling and fifteen crossing. Fuck, you know, going forward, he's amazing, amazing going forward. I can't lie, he's actually looking really good going forward. I'll be real. However. <laughs> Cause, cause there's always something to fuck you over here, and and unfortunately, man's got ten tackling. I get he's only twenty, but that's not a good sign, bruv. Tackling is the one thing that you can't directly improve in it, so it's it's a lottery with tackling. Still, it's not guaranteed to improve. That tackling could stay at ten for the rest of his career. For all I know, it could, it genuinely could, in it. But um, yeah, just know he could get fucked defensively but going forward he's looking very good still first touch bouncing out of the stadium yeah but that's cool because man can dribble in it so I don't really mind right now I'll, I'll be real in it man like um Doma George Brad Rich, he's, he's got good potential but man's definitely a complete wing back I'll just put it there just so you man can actually see that yeah on on even support or attack I don't mind he's got good delivery I don't mind man like Doma George Brad Rich, I don't want to see this guy defend him make make him a winger or something man. All right, next you've got my like Zeki Selik, bruv. Um, if that's how you say his name, my my bad, I can't really pronounce that right now. But yeah, um, man is a fullback, cool. Um, fifteen agility, twelve. I mean, no, 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 no. Fifteen pace, twelve agility, and fourteen acceleration. Is is good movement in a straight line. Side to side is a bit vulnerable, but that's fine though. He's he's good defensively. You get me, man. Man's got fifteen tackling. So, so man can really win the ball in it. Like you can makes very good decisions. Mean that he could play out from the back. His vision is not really there right now, but he has got very good execution though. So yeah, you can still play out from the back. Um, first touch is twelve, um, ten finishing. Nah, that that's not really important. What what's important is that he can't dribble, but he's got a decent cross speed that he has to be on support. And yeah, he's a good fullback support star. Be where you can defend, and he's got a decent delivery. He's only twenty three as well. And for some reason, whenever I play this guy, yeah. He always scores, bruv, against me. I don't know what it is, bruv. Like, I've always seen this guy like on the score sheet against me for some reason, bruv. But yeah, um, he's he's a good player, though. I'll be real. Like, man, like Zeki Selik, he's, he's a good fullback, bruv. I'll be real. 
All right, next we've got man like Bubakari Somare, bruv. Um, I'm surprised no one has gone in for this guy. Like, where did he come from? PSG, they got him for free. And and look at look at how the tables have turned, yeah? Listen, how has no one come in for this guy? Like, I'm surprised. No one from the Premier League, La Liga, no, no one's coming for him. And and he needs to get snapped up. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a problem still, I'll be real. Like, man's got the physicality, yeah? Not only the physicality, but he's got the technical ability to back up the physicality. Reminded me of someone like Pogba. Not saying he's on his level. Not saying he's on Pogba's level. But if I had to think of a player to compare him to or or like who like resembles him the most, yeah, it'll be Pogba still. I'll be real. Like man man's like got the, the physicals and the technicals. Like man's got flair, he can dribble and he's that size, bruv. Like, come on man. He's he's a chunky guy with feet like a flipping what's what's it i don't even know what the, a, a fucking fairy a fairy man's got the feet of a fairy yeah, and and the size of a fucking chunky bruv like man man's one of them man still like that's why i said pogba in it but yeah um overall he's a very good player they put him deep yeah i wouldn't really do that personally in it it's all about personal preference for me i'm gonna ask him to pick up the ball and drive personally not saying that he can't play deep but it's just not my cup of tea in it like i'll smash the cup if he's playing deep can't lie but yeah man like bubakari samara yeah good player though i'll be real in it like man Man need to snap him up in real life because he's he's a problem still. You already know what it is. Now, now, this guy is the guy that I'm putting deep still. Can't lie. As you can see, physically, he doesn't need to move because... I mean, he can't move because he doesn't need to. Um, Got a good pivot. 14 technique, 15 vision and 15 passing is a good pivot. He's got good control of the ball in terms of first touch. And he's composed, bruv. Um, the only thing that I really need to improve is anticipation. Not a guarantee as he is 25 now, but that is completely fine. I don't mind. In a possession system, you can put him there next to Samari. That midfield is sourcing because man will just stay there, ping the ball around and shit. And Samari will be the guy that will add the physicality and j the dribbling and everything else, bruv. So yeah, that's a good like, partnership right there. Man like Xhaka, good player. I'll be real, like, man, man's a good player still. Man like Xhaka, man. All right, next we've got my like Renato Sanchez, bruv. Um, this guy, he was so amazing. Like, he he was just a baller in it. Like, I really liked watching this guy play because the intensity that he bring in the midfield, yeah, mixed that with dribbling, and it was just a problem. I can't lie, and and I I don't know what happened. I saw him at fucking Swansea yeah, or something stupid like that. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, bruv? How the fuck, yeah? Man, going from Bayern Munich to Swansea on loan. How dare you, Swansea? Like, imagine you're a Bayern Munich manager, yeah, and then you get a fucking loan deal for one of your players from fucking Swansea, bruv. Never mind, I saw how much they're paying for that loan. <laughs> fucking hell, they paid a transfer fee for one season and, and they still couldn't get anything out of him. What pricks they are. No wonder they're in the fucking championship. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Anyway, because I don't, I don't like this in teams of the championship because nothing, you know, you never know what could happen to your team in it. You know what team I used to support. Save. Anyway, a man like Renato Sanchez, yeah? Man's a baller. I'll be ruining it. Like, man can dribble. Man's got the intensity. Man's strong as fuck as well. Games like FIFA, he was amazing. Fuck FIFA though. Like that game is not realistic. But I'm just talking in terms of fun. He was very good to play. If I'll be real. But yeah, um, surprisingly, he can't tackle. Like not convincingly. It's 11. I would expect that to be about 14. Like personally, in it. But yeah, star player and with good reason. They've got him permanently. And and yeah, man won the league in it. So you can't even complain, bro. Like man's only 22 as well. They got a wonder kid on their hands, bruv. What a player man like Renato Sanchez is, bruv. Brilliant baller. All right, next we've got Benjamin Andre. Now, um, he is a deep line playmaker on defend. Um, okay, 14, 10, 13, 15, and 13 passing is a decent pivot if you're about 21, 22, but he's 29. Meaning that he, that's pretty much what he's capped at now. Um, it could only go down like from that pivot. It can only get worse, bruv. Uh, okay, um, other things. First touch is good. Um, composure is decent. Anticipation is decent as well. That's 14, 13 and 14. Um, pace and movement is actually good for a deep playing playmaker. Meaning that I'm probably not going to play him as a deep playing playmaker. I'll be real. Like I think he's better at roaming around. If anything... It will be a box to box that all depends on the, the aggression and shit, which he's got work rate 14, determination 15, aggression 13. Yeah, yeah, I'm putting him box to box still because I think he's like better at like moving and shit than I've seen a lot of people. So I'll make him move in it. Like, man can shoot from far. Um, he can't dribble, but that's that's fine. It doesn't really matter in it. Like, man's got tackling and passing that are roughly the same. I'd rather put him in a box to box situation than a deep land playmaker one still. Man, like Benjamin Andre. All right, next we've got man like Yusuf Yazici, bruv. Um, these Turkish men are ballers, you know, I can't lie, yeah. Man, man are ballers still, like, on the underrated thing as well. That's why I like them, because they don't really, like, chat shit. 
Like a lot of a lot of people do, they don't really chat shit, bruv. So man, man like the Turkish, they're ballers still. But yeah, we got another one here. Man like Yazici, um, seventeen techniques, um, fifteen vision, and sixteen passing, bruv. Um, that pivot is not to be fucked with, and I'm not just talking the pivot alone. I'm I'm about to mix it, yeah, with with the the first touch dribbling and flair. Now, the first touch dribbling and flair are all sixteen. Madness, bruv. So so man, man are. Really fucked now. Defensively, like, man don't really know what to do with this guy still because man can dribble at them and just cut them apart like a hot knife through butter. Or man could ping a pass and it's not going to be the right pass because the decisions are 12, but he's actually got the ability to do it, which is very frightening still. Um, they put him on a wide playmaker on support. That's what we've met him on. Personally, I would either put him shadow could it be a shadow striker thing um because he's got good aggression and work rate. it's just the determination isn't really there but i'll probably do it anyway it'll either be a shadow striker thing and i'll explain why in a second or um mazello on attack yeah those are the two that i'll choose and the reason why i'll choose shadow striker sounds mad yeah man's got the intensity that you would need for a shadow striker but man can finish as well like i just i just i just saw that with my own t listen listen man's got 14 finishing and 15 long shots so in front of goal he's comfortable and he will actually offer you like creativity as well mixed in with the fact that man can dribble and he's got mad flair with the intensity like i think shadow strike is the role for him man like yusuf yazichi bruv he's, he's a baller still that midfield is kind of saucy i'll be completely honest this guy is wavy bruv he's, he's actually wavy still all right next we've got man like luis arujo um i've heard that name before bruv but um it's not the same guy it's not the same guy anyway um this guy, I'm thinking, okay, cool. 14 pace, 15 engineering, and 14 acceleration is good movement. Um, first touch, 12, not that good. He's 24. Come on, man, you're 24. And your first touch is worse than mine, bruv. Come on. Um, 14 dribbling is actually good, and he's got good flair as well. Um, pivot, 12 technique, 13 vision, and 12 passing is okay. And finishing is 11, long shots, 11. Um, heading, 8. So in front of goal, it's looking mythical. The best thing in terms of end product that I'm seeing is his vision and crossing. So he's looking like, he might have to be a straight line winger thing. Um, it might actually genuinely be a straight line winger thing. Beat your man, cross the ball. That's what it'll be still, because I ain't really trying to see 11 finishing. Not on live TV, thank you. And um, yeah, the pivot is just okay. Yeah, man's a straight line left winger still. That's what I would do with man at like Luis Arujo still. Probably a baller in real life though. Don't ever let this game like fool you. I've seen Emery Chan with 17 pace before. Like I've seen some real fucking bullshit. Anyway, man at like Luis Arujo. All right, next we've got man at like Jonathan David, now this guy, problem, bruv, absolute problem. You man already know what it is, innit? Like, where did they sign him from? It was fucking Bruges, innit? Oh no, my bad. Other Belgium, other Belgium team, AA Gent, my bad. But anyway, um, Bula, like, man's only 20 and, and he's, he's, he's levels. I can't lie, he's, he's levels and he will only get better. The thing that I like about players like this is that look at how versatile he is. Like, man can play on the right, on the left, cam and striker. All, all naturally like it's not even like it's a competent or, or a little forcing man to do it man can genuinely do it in it like like fam he's, he's a baller still i'll be real. and the other thing that i like is that man's only 20 and he's gonna provide you value instantly now and he will improve at the same time as well so it's only a win-win having a player like this like man's a wonder kid providing value now and he will only get better for the future. Man's only value that 10 million now. Watch that skyrocket. Next time I do a little video, that will probably be like double that. If not, I'm not going to say triple, but it will be much higher still. Like Man man, like Jonathan David, uh, man's got 14 finishing, 14 first touch, bruv. Um, his pivot is actually calm as well. 13, 10, 12 vision and 13 passing. He can cut, he can pass the ball. And and the one thing that you know me for is, is the pace, bruv. And, and you know how I love pace so much. Man, man's got 15 pace, 16 acceleration. Like, man's moving as well. Um, things that he, he needs to improve is off the ball, but they'll come with time. And the mentals naturally come anyway. Um, you can already see the media description is one of the kids. So he's, 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 the, he's the real deal still. Like, man, man like Jonathan David, problem, problem. All right, next we've got man like Jonathan Bamba. Now he's 24, left wing or right wing. Cool. Um, both naturally. Cool. Um, 14 dribbling, 12 flair, but man's got 16 pace, 15 agility and 16 acceleration. So, um, yeah, let me let me just break down what this guy is. So, he's got 11 passing, 11 long shots and 13 finishing in front of goal. Um, 13 finishing and 13 composure is actually calm. Yeah, let me, let me break it down. Now, he's that guy. He'll beat his man. Like, he could beat his man. He's got the ability to beat his man. But the only thing is the flair might, like, make it a bit more predictable for the opponent. But he's still got enough pace to get away from someone in it. So I'll trust him to do that. In front of goal, 
like he's looking kind of comfortable as well and he's got good off the ball meaning I don't think he's an inverted winger at all like um, his passing isn't good enough to play as an inverted winger nor, nor can he bang it from far like an inverted winger usually would be able to do yeah man's an inside forward still man's a striker playing out wide that's what I think he is still like the reason why I say that is because you could probably slap him striker like that's the way you see it like man could probably play out front sometimes like man will do a little rotation thing man, man could slap him up front sometimes you get me I know he's five foot nine. I know he is but that's not in his control allow the guy allow allow the man allow the man bruv but yeah man, man like Jonathan Bamba Good player, bruv. Inside forward on attack, bruv. Man's a wide striker. And annual bang goals, as he's probably done in real life, bruv. Say. All right, another 20 year old. Um, Man's got Timothy Weir. You get me? Man's the son of the, the great legend. I don't know his name, though. It sounds mad. I'm I'm young. Allow me. L listen, allow me in it. But yeah, man, like Timothy Weir. I know he's the son of a legend. I know he is. I know he is. But anyway, um, 14 dribbling, 14 pace, 14 agility, and seeking acceleration is very, very good in terms of like picking up the ball, driving, and shit. Flair is 13, so he does need to improve that a little bit. At least it's something that can improve, so it's it's not the end of the world. Now, end product, um, is he going to have to get the same treatment as Jonathan Bamba? What I mean by that is, is he an inside forward rather than an inverted winger? Um, crossing is not there, he can't pass. Um, vision, gone. Um, crossing, yeah, first touch, decent, long shots, 11. Yeah, I think he's another inside forward. I'll be real, innit? I know he can comfortably play striker, and that's why I'm putting him inside forward. Literally, like, man man can... Yeah, oh, wait, he's on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mal, Mal slap him inside forward still. Um, the thing I like about these guys is that they're, the, the front line is pretty much, like, averaging 20, 21. Like, it's it's good still. That's good. That's very good for age, bruv. Um, yeah, I like that still. But, yeah, man needs to improve the flair. He's a tall winger. So, um, reminded me a bit of, like, Pepe a little bit in terms of height, I'll be real. But, yeah, man like Jonathan, I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man like Timothy Weyer, good potential still. Like, man's a potential player. Got got a bright future. He's at a team that just won the league, bruv. There's, there's, he can only go up, really, like, as long as he gets first team football or decent playing time in it. Man like Timothy Way, a good player. All right, next we've got another young man. Man like Jonathan Ikone. You get me? Man's 22. I know he doesn't look like he is because that hairline is gone, bruv. But it's not in his control. You get me? Just like um his nine strength is not in his control. The the hairline's gone. I'll be real. But anyway, man, man like Jonathan Ikone, man's got 16 pace, 16 agility and 16 acceleration, which is very good movement. Like, that, that movement is very good still. He's actually controlling the ball with 15 first touch here, 16 dribbling, 16 flair. So man can genuinely humiliate someone this time. He plays one twos, tries tricks as well. Um, yeah, he's, he's he's a tricky player still. Now he can actually bang it from far. He's got um, okay finishing from close range. 12, 12 finishing and 12 composure, just okay. And 15 technique, 12 vision and 12 passing. So... I think he could pull off the winger thing. I don't know why he can play cam. That's probably a shadow striker thing. Let's just check for verification. And it actually is as well. I'm so good at this, bro. Anyway, um, man's got 11 decisions. This is why I'm not putting him cam in it. Like, shadow striker is probably the only reason why he could play cam. Now, it, make, it makes sense now, fucking it makes sense. But, 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 has he got the intensity? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. 12, 12 work rate. 11 determination and 8 aggression is no intensity good enough to play shadow striker I'll be honest in it so yeah a man like Jonathan Ikone I'll keep him on the wings on the wings I think he's their only like um, left footed player I think he is I can't remember but yeah um, if he is I'll put him on that right wing still let him cut inside good player man like Jonathan Ikone bruv he's their talisman probably anyway so yeah oh wait no 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 this guy is their talisman yes we have got the the, the proper proper striker right here yeah if you, if you don't know about him check check his check his cv <laughs> check man cv bruv you know the ones man like burak yilmaz yeah bad man striker bruv like man, man's a bad man you know look at him look look at the way he's looking at the camera he's like yeah you already know what time it is you get me man man man's finishing is fucking like ne next level in it like man will definitely put it up there still like where has he been playing this is what i want to know because i'll do your own history lesson and you know i only do history lessons for players that are rating it well not all the time but yeah in this situation it definitely is still now man's been kicking ball before man was even born bruv at at and at less ball i don't even know who that is but it sounds good bruv anyway um He's, he's been playing around Besiktas, Manisapur, Fenerbahce. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is, bro. But yeah, tra tra whatever that team is, yeah. Galatasaray. Man's been about still, mainly in Turkey. He was switched to China for a bit. 
and then he went back to Turkey and now he's at France. They got him for free, bruv. They got him for free. Man's a finisher in it, like simple as bruv. I know he's probably a fan favourite as well because he is like like a proper striker in it. Um now he's he's them poachers that can't really provide you anything apart from goals, but as long as he's scoring goals, everyone's happy and, and he scores goals. So everyone's happy. You, you get you get the logic now. Like man man's got seventeen off of the ball, seventeen finishing. So um regardless of his acceleration beyond poor or not, like man's movement is insane in the box anyway. So man could pick out pick him out anyway, bruv. Um heading is thirteen, jump reach is fourteen, so he's decent in the air. He's strong. And and like I said, man's got seventeen finishing. So like one on one situations, they're more time hitting the back of the net still. Like they are in it. Um he likes to be offside chat. Man can get in behind. He's thirty five. And he can still get him behind. You have to respect the guy. You have to respect him. So this is why I've like respected him for so long, innit? Like man, man's like man, man's a veteran still. He is like man, I respect him. Man, man like Burak Yilmaz, absolute baller, bruv. Um, w- watch out for him, innit? Like, cause I, I don't know how long he's gonna be playing. Like how how much longer he'll be playing. But man's thirty five, baller, absolute baller, bruv. Much respect, bruv. Much respect. And that is Los Lil player ratings, bruv. Um, they've won three League One Uber Eats. Make that four, because you man already know they just won the league, bruv. Good team. Like it's not like it's undeserved or anything. Like they they earn it still. Um, they spent that Pepe. I forgot to mention Pepe. You know. Um, I know he started to come on form recently, but um, before man was definitely like thinking, how the fuck. Did 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 you buy Pepe yet? Yeah, but let me let me let me just stop talking about that guy. It's about it's about Los Lil now, and and I'll be real. They've they've shown their business. They they've done their business. Still, you man can read that club background if you want to, and I'm gonna land these men up. So yeah, let's see what these men are saying in front of my tactics. You get me? You, you know what time it is, bro. And that is how I'm ending up um, Los Lil. Um, so that's the eleven that I'm doing. We're doing a tiki taka style. You get me? Because I think. It would be good if they keep the ball. It would be good if they keep the ball still. Um, I'm going to put him on inverted winger and I'll tell you what I've done. So we've got Magnan in goal on goalkeeper defend. Um, complete wing back, Brother Rich, because I know defensively he will get fucked, bruv. Con- con- like, convincingly fucked, bruv. Like his peak still. Um, Zeki Selik is um, the right back, bruv. Um, good player right there. Two ball playing defenders can't really cover because they both got nine pace and... and 10 pace like the the pace is gone still so you can't really cover but but it's all it's all good bruv it's all good still now um in the midfield it's it's a mad selection headache to have but it's it's a good one because you've got many different options like i I would probably put jacka in samare's place but right now i'll put samare there because i think these two might be their best midfielders they might be still um sanchez and samare um, not taking anything away from jacka but yeah i'm just doing it in terms of like the the best one still but yeah david on the left wing, bruv, inverted, I mean, inside forward, bruv, like wide striker. Um, Ikone on the right wing, inverted winger on support. And then Yusuf Yasichi as a shadow striker with Yilmaz, bruv. Do you know how dangerous that's going to be? Like, their, their man there, I told you about the Turkish man. I told you, like, I remember I said something like that, bruv. Like, man, man, a baller still, but yeah. um, Man like um, Los Khalil. Congratulations to them. They they deserve it, man. Good team right there. So yeah, you man. Um, if you like that video, like that video, bruv. You get me. Um, subscribe to the content you don't expect from me, and I'll see you, man, next episode, bruv. Safe.